Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Jacko. It's the goat. You either know or you don't. Like every video, the first thing that we got to cover is thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, whether you support it or not, I guess, since there are some people that don't enjoy my content now. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, so, this is going to be another Boruto video that gets like 20 views. But I'm covering Boruto regardless because I'm doing this for fun. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Naruto is like one of my, I would say top five, top three, if not top shonen series right now, but Black Clover is getting really, really good. So, uh, that could change, but not too much. But anyway, let's get into this because this last chapter was really good as far as information goes. Um, the... This story setup has been so wild. There's so many things to consider. Um, and the question after every chapter is, how do Boruto and Kawaki end up getting on the Hokage Stone Faces as enemies? And Kawaki saying the, the Age of Ninja is over, right? So, Kawaki in this chapter approaches Boruto as he's sitting on the Hokage Stone Faces, and little do they know, they're going to become enemies at one point in that exact place, and be fighting against each other, even though they are essentially brothers at this point. But anyway, Kawaki approaches Boruto, because uh, he has this idea, and it's he says, why not prepare your own vessel by giving someone else a karma? Now, that is the, the craziest thing I've ever heard of, but then I got to think, it was like, wow, why didn't we think of that? Like, why did that not come to mind? Because early in that chapter, and even in previous chapters, they state that your bodies are pretty much Otsutsuki at this point. And in this chapter, they put a number on it. It's 80% Otsutsuki, which means that they should be able to operate in a very similar capacity that the Otsutsuki do, since they are essentially Otsutsuki. How many times can you say Otsutsuki in, like, one sentence? Otsutsuki, Otsutsuki, Otsutsuki. Anyway, okay, so, um, I was just thinking, like, wow, that's a really, really good idea. But then it brings to mind, like, okay, who would allow this to happen? Who would they pick? You know, by doing that to someone, you are ultimately screwing them over. So this would really end up becoming a, a, a really conflicting idea, especially for a character like Boruto, where he even says, you know, that would he wouldn't want to put this burden onto someone else. But Kawaki is more of a self-preservation type. He's always had to survive. So this comes off as a very natural thing for Kawaki. Um, I don't think he would hesitate to put this on someone. Um, would he put it on a completely innocent person? Probably not. Um, but then the, mat the matter is we have to find someone that's compatible because Kawaki takes him to the whole story of how uh, he got the karma and how he was in uh, you know, the testing tubes with all those other kids who ended up dying because they weren't compatible. And then he got to Code where Code ended up like one of those kids. He was seizing... And then he somehow survived, but it gave him an empty karma, which granted him all the power, pretty much, uh, plus some, it seems like, uh, without the burden of becoming uh, Ishiki at that point. So um, that that's really interesting that he did that. So um, with, with that said, uh, we find out more about Code and... Uh, how he he's I believe Amato says he surpasses Jigen's uh, level of you know fighting and, and that's just wild because we saw that Jigen mopped up Naruto and Sasuke like zero diff them in their best forms. So if he exceeds that, then they are totally screwed. There's no one in this verse that's going to stop code at this point. And the only people that could would be Kawaki and Boruto, but they need to get their karma under control and able to will it um, or use it as they will, you know. Um, 
it's it can't just be a one-off instance anymore. It's got to be intentional. But we don't have that. So Code, as of now, is the big bad. Um, and then uh, we get this panel where Naruto says, we need to do something about Code before Ten Tails gets misused. Now, uh, I posted this as a joke on Twitter, but it's very real. Um, and I believe I said in my last Boruto video is that it, it's always been a possibility that Naruto could end up becoming this Ten Tails vessel. Uh, and this could be used in a good way, but then backlash, of course, because we saw in the war arc that Obito really had a tough time keeping his psyche together with the Ten Tails inside of him. Uh, and this is with both Senju and Uchiha blood, and that's exactly what you need. So, and, you know, I, I would have to assume that most of that became, came to be just because uh, he was not a natural, you know, Uchiha um, U or Senju hybrid, or the original being. I will call him Notsuki for all intents and purposes. So, uh, that could have been the reason, and this could end up being the same for naruto uh where he is pretty much mostly senju so while he might have the body for it he would still not have the blood for it because we do see the ten tails has a, a sharingan um i if you want to call that a sharingan rinnegan whatever but it has the tome away and um he you would need the blood to sustain that as well so there's a there's a part of the ten tails that naruto probably can't control uh but then you have someone like boruto and i believe i said this in what could have been my first boruto video that boruto could end up becoming this host as well uh due to his lineage because we see that the uh we have the senju uh and then uh we have the Hyuga clan who stamped off of uh hamura so this is two different, let's say, alien races uh, coming together into one bloodline. And this brings us Himawari and Boruto. So Boruto might be in the best running to do this. Will they do it? I doubt it. I doubt they would do it now, at least. But I do see Naruto taking on this burden and it ultimately failing. Um... Yeah, that, that's a different discussion entirely. But I do think they're going to have to do something with that Ten Tails. And destroying it is kind of out of the question. Because uh, it, it's it's a whole beast. And we haven't even seen a Ten Tails get really taken down. So I, I don't see what they can do here. Um, anyway, we get to this point. This is the very first thing we see in the Boruto series. Now, it is my theory that... I think that what Kawaki says ends up holding more weight than it doesn't. Because Code has an empty karma. It doesn't mean that he can't use it. He just can't become Ishiki, which he wants to become. So that means the rules still apply. So what if Code goes like, you know what? I can implant this karma into someone. But it can only be someone who's compatible. This is Ishiki's karma in code. Still, it's just empty. So if he implants his karma into a compatible vessel, a.k.a. Kawaki, then code could end up overtaking Kawaki's body and then using it uh, to further manifest the full karma to bring back Ishiki. Now... I think it's so odd uh, that Code is this vastly strong, like probably the strongest being that we've ever seen in the verse. And he just wants to become Ishiki. I think that's really odd, but that's his goal. So, I mean, Code could be doing everyone a favor. Um, I mean, let's think about it this way. If Code is stronger than Ishiki, then they might be doing... Kawaki could do us a favor and go like, okay, use me to bring back Ishiki. Because then they have a better chance. We just saw Ishiki is defeatable. 
although it did take every stop in the book, he is still defeatable. So this could end up pulling like a Kaguya Madara effect, where Madara is not in strength or power wise stronger than Kaguya by any means at all. But Madara was such a threat because he had experience in fighting and he knew how to maneuver about every situation because he's seen that already. He grew up in war. He was molded by it. <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. But anyway, uh, and then Kaguya just pops in where, yeah, she's maybe fought before, but she's nowhere on the level of a fighter that Madara is, which is why we see the fighting style is so different, right? Uh, Kaguya is using all these long-distance attacks, switching dimensions to hinder their mobility because they are really good at uh, at strategizing and actual techniques come into play, and she can't really defend against that, and so she ends up using brute force more than anything. Um and then that's why she got captured. You think Madara is going to fall for a plan like they did? Takaki? There's, there's no way that Madara would fall for that. So, although it's weird to say, while Madara was not strength or power-wise stronger than Kaguya, his experience made him more deadly and more effective than Kaguya. Because he never would have fallen for something like that. I hope you guys get what I'm saying for that. But this could be the same for Code. Just a bit of a reverse. Where Code is vastly powerful. Strong enough to wipe out all of the strongest characters in our verse right now. But he wants to give it up to Ishiki. Which is a weaker being. Although Ishiki is extremely strong. This still gives them a chance to win a fight. So Kawaki could end up possibly doing this. Uh, on purpose, giving the body up to Code, knowing that Ishiki would come out, Code would cease to exist, but he would also cease to exist. So um, that's kind of my thought that right here, what we're seeing is Code and Boruto, and not so much Boruto and Kawaki. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. This chapter was super good, like every other chapter has been. Um, I've not disliked one chapter I think since this started, uh, this has just been fire from beginning to end, and it's going to stay that way, especially with Kishi uh, holding the reins. So I'm super stoked to see where all of this goes. Uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think on the comment section below or on Twitter, uh, and I will see you on the next video. Uh, hopefully, I'll have something more of a theory. Um, I, I really do hate posting Boruto videos monthly. It's... It sucks, because I really, 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 really like this series. So, um, I'll, I'll try to do some more digging on, on some other stuff, but, uh, Jesus, it's, it's tough, because you only get so much information per month, uh, and we can only go so far with it. So, it is what it is. Like I said, I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Jackos the Goat. You either know, or you don't.